nothing. The school here behind me will be closed today, probably till the end of the week while the investigation here continues. We're only a few days away now from the National March for Our Lives, spurred on by that Parkland school shooting, and now it's a new community dealing with this particular type of pain. The Great Mills community praying overnight for 16-year-old Jalen Willie, still fighting for her life this morning after being shot at her high school yesterday. Willie's family telling NBC News, it's hard for us not to see her shining, smiling face right now and to see her light up the room with her presence. Police say 17-year-old Austin Wyatt Rollins, a student at Great Mills, walked into the school armed with a handgun. At 7.55 a.m., just as students were gathering for first period, Rollins opened fire, shooting Willie, critically injuring her. Police believe the two may have had a prior relationship. We just heard screaming and a girl shot out, a guy has a gun and they made us go on lockdown. But police say school resource officer Blaine Gaskell, who is also a SWAT team member, responded in seconds, firing at Rollins. Gaskell being hailed as a hero, whose quick action prevented greater tragedy. This is a tough guy who apparently uh, closed in very quickly and took the right kind of action. When the shooting was over, Rollins was dead and a 14-year-old student also injured. Investigators aren't sure yet whose bullets hit whom. Some students fled, calling their parents as they ran. What did you do when you got that phone call? Like I said, I threw on my shoes. I'm on my way. Meanwhile, police swept through the lockdown school, room by room. Well, I was in the locker room, and then this police officer, he buzzed down the door with the gun, and the gun had a flashlight. This morning, one more community learning. It can happen here, too. If you don't think this can't happen at your school, you are sadly mistaken. And a lot of the focus here now will go to how to keep schools like this safer. They do lock dr lockdown drills here, but they don't have metal detectors. And at a school of 1,600 students, Hoda, they have just the one school resource officer who happened to be at the exact right place and right time to keep this from being potentially so much worse. Right where it needed to be. Garrett, thank you so much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.